Donations come in many forms, a sustaining membership, a one-time gift, even that extra vehicle you no longer need. Learn more about the advantages of donating a vehicle. Here's how. Go to WLRN.org or call 877-WLRN-CAR. We hope you enjoy hearing the Latin America Report podcast from this station. Did you know your business could sponsor this and other great podcasts on WLRN? For more information, please go to WLRN.org slash underwriting and use the Contact Us form to get more information. This is WLRN News. I'm Tim Paget, and this is the Latin America Report. This is the sound of Homestead emerging from the pandemic. A dozen angelic Mexican-American kids rehearsing Christmas music like this song, Burrito de Belén, The Little Donkey of Bethlehem. They'll perform during the nine days of Posada celebrations that start this week. It's a tradition returning to Homestead after the pandemic shut it down last year. The Posadas Festival is held December 16th to Christmas Eve. In Homestead, the main procession is this Saturday. Posada means an inn in Spanish. The central ritual is large nightly processions led by people portraying Mary and Joseph, seeking a place where Mary can give birth to Jesus. The Posadas bring the very best of who we are. Eddie Garza heads the nonprofit Mexican American Council in Homestead. They run the Posadas events. As he beams at the children singing inside the Homestead Miami Mariachi Music Conservatory, Garza reminds me the Posadas is a key expression of Mexican identity. And so in Homestead, the return of Las Posadas is like a culture stepping out again. Having the opportunity to come together again as family, as community, as a culture is such a special moment, especially with the pandemic and all those that we've lost, all the time that we've lost together. The Latino community lost a lot to COVID-19. In Florida, Latinos have suffered disproportionately relative to their population here in terms of cases and deaths. Garza's mother, Maria Garza, co-founded the Mexican-American Council. She says in Homestead, Mexican migrant farm worker families were hit hard. The father of one of the young ladies in our mariachi academy was one of the first to succumb to COVID. She's only 12 years old. A factor in the decision to go ahead with the Posadas in Homestead was that it takes place outside. But here's another. Today, Las Posadas and its depiction of a migrant family seeking shelter is a statement about immigration as well as Christmas. Maria Garza came to Homestead from Mexico in 1971. Before co-founding the Mexican-American Council, she too was a migrant farm worker families that recently immigrated to the United States and joined us for a posada. For them, it was that. They were searching for a safer place for their families. It symbolizes Mary and Joseph able to do that. We are honoring the same thing. Yeah. You're still bringing the manger, right? Yes. yes. Okay, got okay, it. good. Her okay. husband built the manger. In downtown Homestead last week, Eddie Garza and his Mexican American Council staff walked the Posada's procession route. They thanked business owners there for supporting the tradition's revival. Among them was Emma Hernandez. Her 85 year old mother, Estefana, was a migrant worker who also owned one of Homestead's most popular restaurants, El Toro Taco, before it closed during the pandemic. Emma hopes the return of the Posadas portends business recovery, too. Economically, this event shows that people are coming out. This is something my mother started. It was very emotional when she started the tradition, and I, and I, I just feel very proud of her. The Homestead Posadas procession on Saturday will end at the commercial plaza Hernandez's family still owns. There, Mary and Joseph will be welcomed into a fiesta of food, music, and piñatas. So will the donkey Mary rides. The council recently found out the donkey from the nearby little farm petting zoo they've always used, named Jerry, retired during the pandemic. They had to go far north to Lynn's Pony Rental in Miami Gardens to find his replacement, named Jack. Jack will, of course, be serenaded by the kids with that Latin American Christmas carol, Burrito de Belén, the little donkey of Bethlehem. At the council's Mariachi Music Conservatory, they're fine-tuning that performance, which they'll also give at Pinecrest Gardens next Monday night. Along the way, they and Homestead hope to leave the pandemic behind, at least for Christmas. The 
The Posadas procession begins Saturday in downtown Homestead at 6 p.m. You can find more information at WLRN.org. I'm Tim Paget in Miami. This is WLRN News.